Hello everyone and welcome to cat as a totem animal. Before I talk about exactly what it means to have cat as a totem, I want to take a second to address the quote unquote crazy cat lady stereotype because most people would assume that that person has a cat totem and yet when you hear what it means to have a fully realized cat totem working for you, uh, you might be a little confused. So, uh, Crazy Aunt Edna, who is all by herself and everybody thinks she's bonkers and she lives in this teeny tiny dilapidated house with a billion cats, is Crazy Aunt Edna a cat person? Well, that would totally depend on Crazy Aunt Edna. If Crazy Aunt Edna is very happy being by herself with all these kitties, and if she does not feel like she is the subject of scorn or judgment from other people about her uniqueness, or if she doesn't feel upset about this, then there's a good chance that, yeah, she probably is a cat person. Uh, that being said, if she is very unhappy being by herself, if she is upset about how she thinks people feel about her, if she feels like the only one who loves her unconditionally are her kitties, then a couple things might be happening. She might actually have a cat totem, but she hasn't gotten anywhere near processing the messages and the challenges that go with it. Just because we come into this life with a particular totem animal with a set of challenges for us and things we're supposed to learn to do, doesn't mean we all get with the program. Some of us never develop the necessary open-mindedness or the necessary strength and courage and fortitude. So Aunt Edna may have been presented with this challenge and she's just never become ready to accept it. Or Aunt Edna does not have a cat totem and instead the universe has been dumping heaps and heaps of cat spirit guides on her and she has not begun to process those messages. Uh, and if you're interested in what it means to have cat as a spirit guide, there will be a separate video on this channel describing that as well. Uh, you probably learn something from both if you're interested in cat. So, cat as a totem animal. The first thing to know about cat people is that they are inevitably very psychic. Uh, they're the ones who have the very psychic dreams, the really precognitive ones that kind of creep everybody out. They tend to know what's going to happen before it happens. They'll call you the exact moment that you're about to call them. Uh, they often have the abilities of a medium. Um, so they are able to be in contact with the voices of their ancestors or the voices of your ancestors, which can also be rather interesting. Cat people, therefore, are very mysterious, uh, and they also have a very alluring, sensual quality about them, uh, the kind that makes people stop in their tracks and do a double take. Um, those of you who have sultry, smoldering Scorpios out there, you know who you are. That's the type of energy I'm talking about here. There are a lot of Scorpios who really are cat people. And by the way, uh, your sexy, alluring kitty cat is also going to be hard to get. They, they do not just come when they're called. You're going to have to put in some special effort to really attract their attention. Unless they've decided that uh, they want you first, uh, and you don't want them, then they will really be interested. The next thing about cat is they radiate confidence and nobility and independence. Uh, cat people do not like authority, and so whatever job they will find themselves in, they will tend to be working on their own, unsupervised, or they will work for themselves. Cat people really take orders from only one person because they're pretty happy with who they are, and that one person would be them, and sometimes mommy. <laughs> Somebody who has not quite come into their cat confidence yet may still rely upon the wisdom, or lack thereof, of their mothers. And uh, part of becoming a fully realized cat person is learning when mom is uh, speaking to something that is good for them versus uh, something that is not good for them. Now, cat people also are a challenge if you are in a relationship with them. And uh, this is because you know, cat people are very, very independent. They like being in a relationship, but they don't need one. And they will expect you to dote upon them without feeling like they need to reciprocate unless they're in the mood. Cat people really blow hot and cold. One moment they are very passionate, very warm, very affectionate, and the next they don't really care if you exist. Think about your average house cat. 
uh, which will really like being pet and then all of a sudden will want to rip your face off. We have cats, we've observed this phenomenon in action. Cat people are the same way, they're very unpredictable. So it's really hard to know how to please them because you can keep doing the same thing that they have loved and then one day they just won't like it anymore. They can also be unpredictable when they feel like you have outlived your usefulness. So uh, again, one moment, great relationship, next moment they're telling you to hit the road. So if you're with a cat person, you're going to need to be very patient and very, very observant. You will really need to listen to what they are telling you if they decide to tell you. Uh, because if you don't, then you may wake up and they might be gone. Now cat people also are masters at self-care. Uh, this is one of the reasons why uh, Cat Spirit Guide is so much fun, because when they show up, they're telling you to love yourself more. Cat obviously is not a fond, uh, or very fond of hard work. They will do what they do when they want to do it, and they can't be pushed to do otherwise. They like to play, they know when to rest, they know when to eat, they're fond of naps, they like to be pampered. Uh, all those things that many of us really need to heal, but we deny ourselves because we get so caught up in work. Uh, cat people do not overwork. They're not workaholics. Uh, they may actually tend towards laziness, but they won't really care. They're very happy about it. Um, cat people are totally unselfconscious. Again, they, they like who they are. They do what they do. And if you judge them, they just figure you're wrong. So being a fully realized cat person uh, is really one of the uh, wonderful lifetimes you can experience where you really are pretty happy, you're pretty confident, and everything is fabulous. Again, my darlings, if you are interested in Cat as a Spirit Guide, which does have a slightly different meaning, uh, you can check out my other video, which is also on this channel. And if not, I hope you've gotten what you need on being a cat person, especially those of you cat people out there. And if there is uh, any more information you require, you want to schedule a session, you know where to find me. My website is uh, www.ravenlightholistichealing.com. You can also find me on Facebook at Raven Light Holistic Healing. Cheers, dear ones, and have a fabulous day.